channel my name is Angel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this beautiful makeup look right here if you are not already an angel babe go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell sis so you won't miss any more of my uploads let's go ahead and jump right into it so we're not even gonna talk about why I have all these red spots on my face okay we just not gonna talk about it okay because we're here for the makeup not skincare <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start with the face because I do not feel comfortable looking like this on camera, but the show must go on. So for foundation, I'm just going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation. I am in the shade 515 Copper. Um, everything used in this video, I will be sure to link down below. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. Y'all just see it just cover that right on up. Now I feel so much better. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am not used to my skin looking like this. Like, this is crazy. Like, that's why I used to do, like, the whole trying new products or trying what's hot, what's new. Um, until I learned that stop trying stuff. Like, stick to what works for you and your skincare routine and your makeup routine. You don't need to try everything that you see. Unless I say it's good, of course. Then y'all know y'all need to try it because y'all know I'm putting y'all on. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you guys, um, do you guys like to put your foundation on first or you do your eyes first? Comment down below and let me know. So, I am going to put on another layer, maybe, maybe, um, and also do my forehead. Um, but for now, we're going to pause on the face. I just couldn't be looking too crazy for too much longer, y'all. I couldn't take it, okay? Um, moving on to the eyes, of course, my brows are already done and my eyelids are already primed so for eyeshadow today i'm using the makeup revolution i don't want to blind you guys this is the sophie x times revolution well the sophie times resolution palette i'm talking so fast y'all um i'm acting like i had coffee today but i didn't trust me and this is in the um the shade or the palette extra spice the first shade i'm going to dip into is running late i'm just going to kind of see what this shade does i'm not sure if it's going to do a whole lot so I'm going to go ahead and just go in with this and use it as a transition. So that really didn't do a whole lot. So I'm just going to take this second orange shade. It's called Sweet and Sour. Oh, that name is cute. So I definitely think this one's gonna show up. It's just a um, the same orange shade, it's just a little bit deeper. Y'all, this eyeshadow palette is beautiful. Like I think I've only used this palette maybe like once or twice. Um, and I've had it for a minute now. So now that we have that shade down, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Cheesecake. It's kind of like still in the same brownish kind of family and the same look. Where's my other brush? There it is, that we're going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one and apply it. Did, did I show y'all? This one right here, Cheesecake. And we're gonna use this one as a transition as well. But I'm gonna keep this one a lot lower than what I applied the orange. So just right in this area. And I'm using the same brush also, you guys. Like, I am not your makeup guru. Like, I'm not your makeup girl that is going to have you um, using 20 different brushes and 20 different eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes. We keep it simple over here. Y'all, look how this eyeshadow, like, that was literally in less than two minutes. Like, this thing is over here blending like butter. Makeup Revolution actually has some really nice eyeshadows anyway. Like, they are actually one of my favorite um, super affordable drugstore-ish um, eyeshadow palettes. Oh my god, do you guys know that they are actually selling um, Makeup Revolution in CVS now? So y'all know I'm going to get me some palettes because y'all know I love CVS. It's the way that blended for me, okay? So, I am going to go ahead and do my lid. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Dreams. It's this beautiful 
um, goldish champagne kind of color and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my Morphe M167 brush just to make this a lot easier and then I am just going to take some of my MAC Prep and Prime um, and spray my brush just a little bit so that the pigment can be a lot more intense and I don't have to work as hard. Did I mention I literally have no fallout? And I did that so I wouldn't have fallout. Um, I didn't want the shimmer getting all over the place. Nowhere else but beside my lid. But besides my lid. <laughs> so moving back into that shame color um, cheesecake. I'm just going to go ahead and blend out any um, harsh edges that I have going on here. Using my Jordana liner, I'm just going to go ahead and create a wing. Wings are done. So moving on to the lashes, I'm just going to go ahead and pop them on and I will be right back. I also touched up my uh, foundation off camera. So we are ready to move on to concealer for now. So I'm going to be taking two different concealers. I'm using ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me. And I am going to be mixing. I did this the other day, you guys, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I really love the Maybelline Fit Me. However, um, I feel like it's not the best choice for my combination oily skin because I find that um, wherever I apply it, I do tend to get a lot more oilier um, than normal. And But I really do like the doingness of it because um, this concealer right here, you guys, is really, really, really matte. So I feel like them mixed together is like the perfect combination. They already are like the perfect shade that I love in a concealer. So, um, yeah, that's why I am just mixing these two together. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, okay? And I'm just blending out any harsh edges that the concealer um, may have left because we want to be blended, okay? So for my powder, I'm moving on to set with the Derma Blend Powder, and this is in the shade Cool Beige. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set my entire face using my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder. I'm so glad you guys commented on my last video and told me none of my makeup gets redundant. Like me explaining to you guys everything or talking to you guys or doing the same thing, it never gets redundant. So thank y'all for that. I appreciate it. I'm really starting to feel like I'm getting my groove back as far as filming um, makeup beauty content like i am just loving it i don't know if it's the comments for me or what it is but i have just been kind of super influenced by just sitting down talking to you guys and filming makeup tutorials for bronzer i have two different options i feel like i haven't used this one in a minute this is the makeup revolution glow and then this is the morphe glam bronze i feel like 
I haven't used either one of them in a while. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one right here because this is my baby. be applying like too much shimmer to the face because I do have some texture on my skin I'm sure you guys can see fingers crossed that the camera is kind of camouflaging a little bit <laughs> so for blush I'm moving on to the Siharian volume 2 blush palette and I'm gonna take this beautiful orange shade right here I feel like it goes perfect with the eyes I'm loving these eyes and we didn't even finish okay but I love this blush and I feel like orange blushes look really really good on um, women of color and I have just been using a lot um, a lot of orange blush lately somebody tell me to stop because I'm going crazy and this is beautiful oh my goodness and moving on to highlighter I'm using this wet n wild mega glow highlighter and this is in the shade awesome blossom you guys this is a beautiful golden oh my gosh it goes perfect with my eyes um it's like this golden shade of highlighter perfect for um, women of color or if you are you know of deeper skin tone even darker than myself this is going to be absolutely gorgeous on you sis okay um let me let me put that on pause i'm gonna snatch my nose really really quick sorry y'all i have seen like i've had some drinks some coffee or something in this video because i am just super hyped it's a good thing though i love when i'm in a good mood and in a good space and when I am enjoying what I'm doing, which is for right now filming and giving y'all this beauty content, okay? And I think I'm gonna apply like literally just a tiny, tiny bit just so my skin won't look super flat and super matte, but I'm literally like barely am applying anything. If you have like a lot of molds or texture on your skin, um, or acne marks or um, active acne you do not want to apply a whole lot of glow to your skin because honestly it's just going to um, or a bunch of shimmer because it's just going to make that area look a lot more um, noticeable and I'm applying a little bit to my cupids though I like doing this every now and again it's actually really pretty it makes your lips look a lot more pouty I feel like an eye look is not complete unless you complete the waterline. So I'm just taking my Essence Extreme Lasting Liner in the shade But First Espresso and I'm going to apply this to my waterline. And basically it's just like this really pretty um, dark brown shade. I picked this up today you guys from the Dollar Tree it's just the Wet n Wild Smoky Liner Brush. Wet n Wild has some really nice um, eye brushes and I'm just going to go ahead and jump back into this palette and I don't want to use anything too too dark. We're going to go ahead and take Cheesecake which is this shade right here that we used in the um, transition area and I'm just going to use this to kind of smoke out the darker shade that we put down. that is perfect and then I'm just applying some of my mascara to my top and my bottom lashes and before we move on to lips I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face using this Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray for lip liner I'm just using Colourpop's Times Makeup Shayla in the shade BFF4 
And then for my lipstick, I know, I know, I know, but I do have a dupe because um, I really do love MAC's formula as far as their lipsticks. So I am using MAC World. Um, it's this beautiful brownish nude shade, but if you want a more affordable option, you can use Wet n Wild Mochalicious. They are literally the same. I think the Wet n Wild may be just a little bit darker, but as far as the undertone, they have like that same taupey, cool undertone. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my lips. I feel like this is a lip color that I don't wear enough. Just going back over it with that liner. I believe that everything needs a liner. Like, if you're not wearing lip liner, what you doing? Except liquid lipsticks because I feel like the applicator on it is really good and they dry really, really matte. So you really don't need a lip liner, not necessarily. That's cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. I love these glosses, you guys, by e.l.f. and they're only $6. And I'm using the shade Praline. It's this beautiful mocha, deep purplish, cool undertone-ish kind of gloss. Perfect for this lip combination. And this one is so small because it actually came in a holiday set. Normally they're a lot bigger than this. But nevertheless, I'm going to use her up. Oh, and I love the way that it makes my lips feel. Like it has that mentha, that cooling sensation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my hair, put on my outfit, and then I will be back to show you guys the final look. Um, if this isn't glossy enough by the time I come back, because sometimes you got to give it a minute, you know, you got to give it a minute. Um, if it's not, then y'all know. I got two of them right here. These are like, uh oh, the secret, my secret weapon, y'all. I love a clear gloss. See, it's getting glossy now. It's cute. Oh, it's the lips for me. All right, y'all. Let me go get ready. I'll be back. <laughs> So this is pretty much it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And if you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can become a part of the family. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed, be safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.